Let's deal with one important program on a two-dimensional array, that too based on a single matrix. We'll now find the diagonal sums and the two triangles which lie on a single matrix, that is upper triangle and lower triangle of a matrix. Now, all these are possible only when the matrix is a square matrix. For that, first of all, I have to read the order and then I'm supposed to check whether the matrix is a square matrix. If the matrix is a square matrix, then I'm supposed to go for doing the operations. Now, the matrix is a square matrix, then read the elements, process the information and finally display the results. So here, I'll go for displaying the results. If this is not true, then third part. If this is not true, if after checking the matrix, if the matrix is not a square matrix, then what you'll do is, you'll go to step three and you'll say that this element or this matrix is a not a square matrix, hence the operations are not possible. Now question comes, how to identify the elements, whether they lie on primary diagonal, second diagonal, upper triangle or lower triangle. For that, let's mark the primary diagonal upper triangle, lower triangle and second diagonal for you. So let me write the index for these elements. The index is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2. So I'll mark the primary diagonal elements. The elements which lie on this section, they are called as primary diagonal. The elements lie on the other side of this or the opposite side of this, they are called as secondary diagonal. Now, the elements which lie above the primary diagonal, they are the elements which lie on the upper triangle. So these are the elements which are said to be on the upper triangle and the elements which lie below the primary diagonal, they are said to be the one which lie or which are called as the lower triangle elements. This is lower triangle. Now, we can't identify these diagonals based on the contents. If it is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, or 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or some elements, the content-based matrix will never let you know whether the element is a primary diagonal or a second diagonal or upper triangle. If you have to locate this, then you have to always write an index matrix, as I have written these indexes for you. So the index matrix will let you know whether the element is a primary diagonal, second diagonal, upper triangle, lower triangle. Let's check this primary diagonal. We know that the first index is always referred as i and the second index is always referred as j. The value of i and j will let you know whether the element is a primary diagonal, second diagonal, upper triangle, lower triangle. So i equals to 0, j equals to 0, i equals to 1, j equals to 1 i equals to 2, j equals to 2. What that says? That says that when index i matches with index j, it is a primary diagonal sum. So condition for this is i equal to equal to j. Right? Okay. Now let's look at the second diagonal. Second diagonal, initially i is 0, j is 2. i is 1, j is 1. Then i is 2, j is 0. If you observe it closely, ask that i keeps on increasing from 0 to 2 and j keeps on decreasing from 2 to 0. This will not be forming a condition because there has to be something unique with this particular elements. We are not supposed to design a condition by observing all the elements. And all the elements, what are the conditions which you frame, that condition should be constant. So, i is 0, j is 2, i is 1, j is 1, i is 2, j is 0. How do we do this? Add up the indexes 0, i and j. 0 plus 2 is 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 0 is 2. So it means that in this part, your i plus j is always equal to equal to 2. So I'll add a condition as i plus j equal to equal to 2. Whenever index i and j are added, the element will be always equals to 2 for 3 rows and 3 columns. For m rows and n columns, it will be always equals to m minus 1 or n minus 1. So m minus 1 or n minus 1. So in that case, i plus j is equal to equal to 2. Let's observe this upper triangle elements, upper triangle region. In the upper triangle region, i is 0, j is 1. i is 0, j is 2. i is 1, j is 2. What unique thing did you find in this particular upper triangle? In the upper triangle, I'll say that i is always less than j. When i is less than j, 
the element is a part of upper triangle and for a lower triangle what is the condition condition is i greater than j you will find 1 0 2 0 and 2 1 in restaurant region the value of r is not greater than j so here your i is always greater than j i is less than j so condition revise these conditions for a primary diagonal i equal to, equal to j second diagonal i plus j equal to 2 upper triangle i less than j lower triangle i greater than j let's put a program to illustrate this entire stuff so the program for this operations which are described this declare a two dimensional array i and j m and p d s d u t and l t so array loop variables m and n are rows and columns and these are the counters which i want to store the sum first read the order then read the matrix elements then set the counter variables so i'm reading the elements using a nested for loop i'm setting the counter variables p d s d u t l t equals to zero once the entire set of variables have been set to zero then start doing the operations in this operations you'll find that i'm going to visit all the elements and here you'll find a series of elements a series of if instructions rather than if else why uh, if else not used and why a series of if else used there will be always a question which will be asked in your oral exams if this particular program comes why or can i modify this using the if else statement why not if else why a series of if basically a series of if because there is a possibility that one element might belong to multiple categories for for a reason saying that when i is one j is one for for a three by three matrix the intersection elements or the primary diagonal or second diagonal wherever they intersect that element is a part of both primary as well as second diagonal the right top corner that is zero two is a part of second diagonal as well as upper triangle the lower left bottom corner is 2 0 which is a part of lower triangle as well as second diagonal if i use a series of if else what happens if the first condition is true it will perform only that operation and ignore the rest of it if the element is caught in the second diagonal it will be true in that particular case but rest all will be ignored but here if the element is a part of second diagonal then also i'm supposed to check the next operation also because there is a possibility that one element might belong to multiple categories. For that reason, I'll be using a series of if. What happens in a series of if? In a series of if, I'll say r equals to equals to j. If the condition is true, it will do this operation and then check the next one. r equal to equal to j. If the condition is false, it will still go to the next condition. The next condition is always evaluated irrespective of how the previous condition works. Right? Okay. i plus j equal to equal to m minus 1. That is for second diagonal. I less than J, that is for upper triangle. I greater than J, that is for lower triangle. So in this case, I'll do the operations. So once the operations have been done, then the second diagonal, primary diagonal, upper triangle, lower triangle, all these operations have been displayed. Then you are supposed to go to the else part. If the matrix is a non-square matrix, then ignore this entire operations. That is neither read the elements, nor assign the sum, nor process the sum, nor display the sum. Directly say the operations are not possible. Right? So remember that these conditions have been arrived not for the content matrix but from the index based matrix. So the content bit matrix will not have index based matrix. So for condition for a primary diagonal i equal to equal to j. Condition for second diagonal i plus j equal to equal to m minus 1. Condition for upper triangle i greater than i less than j. And condition for lower triangle i less than j. Do these operations again with this content and then work with this. Why a series of if? Why not if else? Because there is a possibility that one element might belong to multiple categories. Uh, hence, your element has to be using a series of if rather than a if else instructions. Thank you.